Hey everyone, this is Derek. Uh, I posted some videos uh, after my first five days of getting my laminectomy disectomy. Uh, this is day 30. I just wanted to give an update video and uh, give some info about anybody that's thinking about getting this surgery. Uh, from the previous videos, you'll see that I started with a, a walker for the first week, then I graduated to a cane, and then on my third week, I didn't have to use any uh, walking assistance. Um, now, again, fourth week, day 30, uh, I don't have to use any walking assistance. Uh, the first week or two, I started doing a half a mile twice a day. Uh, then week two, week three, I went and did a mile or about a mile and a half twice a day. And now I'm up to walking uh, four miles a day. So two miles at a time, uh, you know, not to push too hard, but to continuously build my, uh, my strength by con continuously adding to walking. Um, pain level in the bad, it's, in the morning it's really bad. Uh, and at night it gets pretty bad too. But once you take the medication, the nerve blockers that the doctor's giving you, uh, at least for me, uh, during most of the day, it's not that bad. Once you start getting moving, uh, you know, in the morning, it's probably about a six or a seven for pain. I still feel uh, nerve pain going down some of my legs. Uh, but after you get going, it's really not bad. It goes down to about a two or a three. Uh, some of the other people that I've talked to uh, that have gotten the same surgery done, I've had the, the laminectomy, disectomy on my uh, L4, L5, which was herniated to the right, which was affecting a lot of pain in my right leg. That's been cut down. Uh, most people that I've talked to that have had the surgery done, says they say that uh, you know, you're going to feel a lot of pain where the incision was because, you know, they take out a piece of your vertebrae to do the surgery to get into the disc. Uh, so, you know, the first month or month or two, you're going to feel some major pain where uh, they took a chunk of your vertebrae out, which was near my tailbone. Uh, your body's trying to adjust to that. So just be ready for uh, high levels of pain there. Uh, I'm on my third week of physical therapy. I have another three weeks left. Uh, you know, make sure to be icing it two to three times a day to reduce inflammation. Uh, just stick to whatever pain regimen the doctor is giving you. Uh, and remember to continuously build up your walking. At least that works for me. Uh, be ready for pain in the morning. Be ready for pain at night. Uh, but just try to get back to whatever schedule you can do, whether it's, you know, clocking in an hour or two of work a day and then building that up and increasing your walking. Uh, just try to do as much as you can to increase your strength rather than laying in bed all day. Uh, so that's basically it. Be ready for, for pain where the incision was. Uh, be ready for pain in the morning and at night, but also, uh, you know, a lot of the pain in my right leg has been reduced for the, from the nerves. Uh, and I'm going to revisit the doctor in another 30 days to check up possibly on a second surgery for my uh, L5-S1 discs because they only did cut one of the discs. Uh, so hopefully this helps anybody that's looking into getting the surgery. You know, so far I would say uh, yes, it, it has been a positive thing even though there is pain. Uh, but I'll take a replacement of uh, temporary back, back pain to help cut down on the, the nerve pain on the legs because that was the major source of my discomfort. So uh, I'll repost another video in another 30 days uh, to try to help anybody out that's looking to get the surgery. Uh, and that's about it. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you. Bye.